A watermark is an image or text that you can insert into the middle of each page that's faded or washed out. That way it doesn't interfere when somebody's reading the document and they see that watermark or the text or the image behind it that they can't contrast between the text and what's behind it. But it's more subtle. Again, it's washed out or faded. And the purpose of that, for example, is that let's say this is a top secret document. I can go ahead and insert the text top secret as a watermark onto every page in the middle of it. That way when somebody reads it and they go to any one of the pages, it's all top secret. As opposed to having the text up here on page one top secret and they think, well, I guess it's just top secret for page one and not for page two or page three. In other words, they can't miss it. Or better yet, how about an image? We've got our Cure All Essential Oils document. How about an actual image of the product that we're selling? For example, let me go ahead and minimize this down to the taskbar. Go to my exercises folder, double click, and there's a, a bottle of it right here, an image of it. Double click on that, and you can see it's our lemon essential oil. Let's go ahead and close out of that. And that's what we're going to insert as a watermark into our document here. So let me come back down here and click on that button to restore the document here. Then come up here, click on the Page Layout tab, go to the Page Background group, and there it is, Watermark. Click on the drop-down arrow, you get some default templates like Confidential. Go ahead and click on one if you want to use that, and then scroll down to the middle of each page and you'll see it. Subtly faded in the background in big letters, Confidential. Go down to page two. Confidential, you can't miss it, right? Let me hit the Control Home keys so I can go back to page one. Then to remove it, of course, click on the Watermark drop-down arrow, and go down to remove. Pretty simple, right? But if you want to do some customization like your own text, top secret, or an image, like inserting the 15 milliliter image of the lemon essential oil, then come back up here, click on the watermark drop down arrow again, go down to custom watermark. So if I want to do text, go ahead and select that, and it's got some default text like ASAP. You can click on the drop down arrow and choose something else. There's top secret, but if you want to customize that, you can go ahead and delete it and say, this is a spiffy document. You can also choose the uh, font type, the size, which is automatic, or choose some other size. You can choose the color. If you want the layout diagonal or horizontal, semi-transparent, or gosh, go ahead and uncheck that so it's not transparent at all with whatever color that you select. Let me go ahead and recheck that. Click okie dokie and scroll down, and it's a spiffy document. You should have known that by now. Click on the watermark arrow again. Go back to custom. And instead of text, let's do the picture. Then go ahead and click on select picture then browse through your uh, computer to find your picture. Mine is already pointed to the exercises folder on my desktop, so you can see in the main window it's right there. Double click on lemon, and if the image isn't washed out, because as you recall when I showed you the lemon essential oil, it wasn't washed out or faded, by default it'll wash it out for you. You don't have to, you can uncheck that, or check it back again. As far as to scale goes, you can do it automatically, the default and the image was kind of small, but if you want to make it really large to fit up a larger portion of the page, then go ahead and choose, you know, 200, 500%. I'm just going to do auto. Leave the default to wash out to see what it looks like. I can click apply here, and then click and drag to move this around and go, ooh, that's really uh, quite the large bottle, isn't it? I didn't want it that big for each page, so I can still have this, you know, left open and make some changes here and just test it back and forth. How about 150%? to its original size. Click apply. A little bit smaller. I could even go 100% and click apply. Okay, so at least it's not stretched and blurry. Or if I uncheck washout, click apply. You see how that pops open? Well, you can still read the text, but it's a little bit more distracting not having it faded. Okay, so in any case, I'll do washout, click apply, click close, and you can see it's on every page. One, two, three, and it could be a subliminal message by our essential oils. Ooh. And then of course we can watermark to remove. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.